Today, we will introduce a method of monitoring the communication data of CAM, the control network for CARS. Today, I will use the non-contact CAM sensor SP7001. Today's CARS have many parts called ECUs. CAM is one of the networks that connects ECUs. On the CAN bus, car control information and other data are exchanged with voltage signals. Therefore, to read CAN information, you need to acquire voltage signals of the CAN bus. But usually, there are no terminals for taking the whole CAN bus of a vehicle. In this state, to take the voltage signal, you have to process the CAN bus cable in this way. This requires man hours, and in terms of quality, you want to avoid it if at all possible. With this CAN sensor, however, you can easily monitor the signal without processing the canvas. If you turn the yellow part of the probe in this way, the hook opens up. Attach this hook onto the canvas. By turning it clockwise, you can pinch the sensor securely onto the cable. It will stop spinning when the probe hits the cable. You can't damage the cable by turning it too tight, so make sure you turn it firmly until it stops. CAN is made of two differential voltage lines. Attach a probe to CAN high and CAN low. Hyoki's unique technology allows for voltage sensing from outside the cable insulation. Damaging metallic contact is no longer necessary. Because of this, there is no worry of changing the electrical characteristics or interrupting communication. By connecting the ground cable to the ground of the body or the CAN signal source, you can reduce the influence of power system noise. After that, supply the power and you're ready to go. If the LED is blinking green, the signal is being detected. Since the detected signal is output in real time, you can monitor as soon as you connect to the CAN analysis tool. When monitoring with a PC, you can directly connect with a CAN interface via the DSUB terminal. As you can see, you can check the CAN communication status in real time. Since cable processing is not needed, this sensor is perfect for sudden needs to check CAN communication during development or for investigating defective products in the market. If you are using an oscilloscope for CAN monitoring, use a D-sub BNC conversion adapter. Connect to the output terminal of the CAN sensor and connect the BNC terminal to the oscilloscope. The nice thing about oscilloscopes is that you can see not only digital data, but also signal patterns. For example, if you look at it with an oscilloscope, you can quickly see in which bit of the CAN frame the error occurred. Also with an unidentified signal pattern, you can check what kind of signal was generated in great detail. So, this was Hioki's introduction on how to monitor the CAN in-vehicle network using the non-contact CAN sensor. This revolutionary and convenient tool allows you to check CAN data immediately when you need it. Please contact your Hioki distributor to try one.